James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is September 12th, 2023, noon central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. You can see that Earth's been hit by something, at least our electromagnetic field has been. Now the spikes are not huge, they only go up to about 100 hertz, but they're definitely there. It seems to have started right around 11 UTC time, gone through 14, 1500, and is starting actually to wind down around 1600 UTC time. Usually when we see this, we see the Schumann residence off the hook. All right, taking a look at the Schumann residence itself, it didn't do much until about 1315, 1320 UTC time. After that, it seemed to shoot off the charts, and it seems to be coming back in control, although it's still spiking up to about 50 hertz. When I say off the charts, it exceeded 105 hertz here at the top at around 1430, 1445 UTC time. You can see on the top, the geophone was hit pretty hard. Now, looking at a six-day comparison of our Schumann residence, we see that nothing has occurred for the last six days until today. And, of course, this goes off the charts because these charts only go up to 50 hertz. So it was off the charts for at least an hour time period here. A very strong impact, we'll call it. We'll try to figure out what the agitator is and what the cause is as we go. All right, looking at the hourly geophone strips, it looks like that first strip that was lit up is 1300 UTC time. Each line is one hour cut out into 15 minute increments. 1400 was also very strong at about 1415, maybe 1430. We started to see this spike subside and it's basically cleared up. Although that's not to say it won't happen again. Taking a look at the amplitudes of our modeling equipment, that'd be our geophones, our ULF noise detectors, our ELF noise detectors, our second SR frequency detector. You can see that everything started to happen right about 1315 UTC time. And it looks like we might be coming out of that event. Although until we are fully out of this event, there's just no telling. This could just be a bump in the road, if you will. So we have all of, all of our modeling equipment indicating that there's a Schumann resonance impact. The geophones, the ULF, the ELF, and the second SR frequencies. And that seemed to take place right about 1300, 1315 UTC time. All right, heading over to CERN's Large Hydron Collider. It is still not operational. They are still trying to figure out what is going on over there. We have no beam whatsoever and have not had one. This is not going to be part of any solution that we find. All right, now our modeling station is in this area here. We will zoom in. And we can see that there has been a lightning storm that did go over the modeling station uh, about an hour ago. Maybe more recently than that. You can see the tailing lightning and how strong that supercell is as well. Went directly over this area. We'll zoom in and let y'all see. There our modeling station is right here right uh, west southwest of Turin uh, and there's a good chance that lightning might have been an agitator for this let's continue though this gets a little bit more interesting jumping over to discover our real-time solar wind satellite we see that the big impact of plasma did occur right about 1300 we're seeing 70 centimeters cubed there right after that and this is going to be about 1330 
starts to go down here and you can see the fields going negative right here now this is before 1400 but after 1300 now what we might be seeing here is the solar weather actually being the agitator and the fields dropping off right here i.e allowing that spike at 1400 and 1500 utc time go back and look at that but we lost all the plasma and you can see our shields went negative right here all of a sudden as soon as we had that big spike or off the chart spike in the schumann residence again right at 1400 and 1500 utc time we see that now here we go as the shields become negative perhaps the solar weather itself the plasma is the agitator and as we lose our shields, about 1330, it gets stronger and stronger, goes off the chart, chart here at about 1430, and then starts to subside again. We no longer have any space weather. The plasma has moved past Earth. Again, this could also have been agitated by a thunderstorm that moved over the modeling station. Either way, we see the spike off the chart uh, associate with the field turning negative. Get some more information on that. And hopefully this will prove the point to everyone here. You can see that we had that heavy plasma come in and after that our BZ went south. Period. It went down to negative 20 and that is exactly when we saw our spike here at 1400 1500 UTC time of our Schumann residence. With the fields in the north and our magnetosphere in the positive, we never see any spiking of the Schumann residence, only when it does this, period. What is causing this? Our magnetosphere or our cavity that protects Earth is depleting our cavity is disappearing as our cavity collapses the activity whatever the agitator may be here is it the lightning storm that went over or is it the space weather plasma that went over actually bounces off lower levels of the atmosphere hitting the geophones and all the other sensors at a much stronger pace a much stronger level the papers that i've read say that when our cavity collapses like you're seeing here the actual lightning and shimmer resonance bounce off the d region the lowest region of our magnetosphere when it used to go through the d region and bounce off the e or f region and then return so the spikes look much higher and are much higher because they're bouncing off a much lower part of our atmosphere very little atmosphere i guess is left now this goes right along with why did the shoon residents never spike over 37 hertz until 2017 it's because that's when our cavity really started to dissipate and disappear along with our protective magnetosphere and each year more and more of that magnetosphere disappears and more and more of that cavity uh, disappears and we get stronger and stronger spikes. We've seen that exact thing happen from 37 hertz to 100 hertz to 150 hertz to 200 hertz. As we move further into what I believe is causing this is the pole shift. Our magnetosphere and our protective cavity are going to almost be non-existent as those magnetic poles flip. I'd love to have your opinions about this, but again here, the timing works out perfectly. I am not saying that solar weather couldn't have been the agitator. I would guess it was probably the lightning storm that went over, but even if it is, you're not going to see a spike in the shoe resonance that high, i.e. off the charts, 110 hertz unless our magnetosphere and cavity collapse and go into the negative. God bless you guys. Share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.